from there. Well, let us finish. No so matter how grievous any matter is, we say it with mouth. Okay. You don't die alone with anything. You don't die alone with it. This man you are watching now is Dr. Bode and he's a uni Ben lecturer, a senior lecturer. And yesterday he was arrested by the school security after he was accused of raping a female student in his office. Anyway, before I continue, just subscribe um, to my channel so I can give you more updates as the matter unfolds. This Mr. Bode right now he's outside the school health center being interrogated by other member of staff yes this is him and um, looking nervous and pacing outside the school health center so dr bode ekundayo is a lecturer in english and literature department and he was said to have locked up the student in his office when she visited him to register for her final year project on october 5th 2021 he then raped her and locked her in his office for hours so the young lady was said to have contacted her friend who in turn went about to look for help and met up with the school security guards who now went to the office to rescue her anyway the news is everywhere and i really hope the police are on their game and the school authorities are investigating thoroughly into this matter so we can know if he's really guilty or not and know the next exact step to take so this matter can be resolved and everyone can learn from this experience that video let me see your thoughts drop a comment i'm going to be following this up very closely so i can be very well informed about um what's happening and going on with the whole matter from time to time i really hope this is very well investigated and we've not heard news so far from the girl that was admitted in the school health center and i just hope um a rape kit is done for her so we can see you know have some proof and evidence that this really happened because if there's no proof this case is empty and he's going to walk free so if we must prove that this really happened we need evidence you know the things that happened after an assault has taken place and also it's everywhere on the internet and a lot of people have come forward to talk. You know, this is very normal with rape cases and sexual assault. People have come out, people from Uniben, um, other students from the same department saying that these are things that have been happening. And people are even dropping names of other departments and other universities and other, other um, faculties that are in this same practice. So I really think this is something that um, the university should look into and the proper investigation must be done if not this man will walk free and i think it's unfair to all the sexual assault victims worldwide so the police should get on with their investigation and the university authority should at least start working on it from now because i don't understand that if this man is very guilty how were they patient enough to be interrogating and gisting with him and just what kind of patience is that please please drop a comment and most importantly subscribe subscribe and share this post this is a very serious thing and i'll be bringing the news back to back before you uh -huh, as it unfolds so i'll bring matter again to your table maybe tomorrow maybe next tomorrow any matter at all as far as it matters to me it must matter to you okay so i'll see you again next time thank you for watching thank you thank you thank you see you next time